Oh yeah, she loves, she loves it. This kind of vintage uh, Soviet Union type of. I never, ever, ever ate something as taste as good as uh, anything what my grandma or Dasha's grandma is cooking. And here it's coming. Focus, focus. Ooh, look at this, look at this. Bubbling. Uh, this is me, guys. <laughs> Yes, it's me. All right, we came to the building where we have to meet our friends. It's uh, Paul and Nadia. They do some kind of, uh, I don't know, fashion, fashion. Designer clothes. Design clothes, something like that. But it's not the idea. The idea is a really good friends of us, uh, like our friends, and we really want to see them. So they said they have a new studio in that building somewhere upstairs because they said we're gonna watch a uh, Riga from birds fly point of view how to yeah. say this? part of this yeah yeah look at him this bald man is Paul and Paul is bald Hi. you are bald hello Paul this is Paul my friend of, uh, from childhood I know him for ages and ages and ages, million years, before the dinosaurs I knew him. So Paul is saying that there is a nice park with the ducks and one of the things we're going to do today is we're going to go and feed ducks. It's in our agenda. And action! Welcome guys! <laughs> This is Nadia. Absolutely amazing place. Everything is so cool, so beautiful. And if you think about this, it's a lot of this jewelry, a lot of jewelry, a lot of the cloth is made, kind of handmade. It's a design cloth. It's really cool. It's nice, beautiful, really beautiful. So what did you buy? Show me, show me, show me. Oh, look at this. You never ever can leave your friends without buying anything. You know, like. <laughs> It's must be done, must be done. Especially when it's so, is, so nice. It's so Yeah, it smells good, isn't it? Yeah, we did buy some soap. This one smells as a melon. It was absolutely amazing smell. Dasha got a couple of them. Too. We decided to feed the ducks and uh, <laughs> they saw a porridge already. <laughs> and I think they're hungry. Okay, do you want to open it? And just uh, feed them a little bit. <laughs> Took a little bit, yeah? Bit by bit. Lot, a lot, a lot of ducks. Okay. Dasha, can you take this? <laughs> okay, I'm. Can you hold it, please? Yeah. I wanna. Okay. I wanna do this. Come on, Ducky Duck. Come on, Dekira. Oh no. <laughs> Still scared. <laughs> so many of them, oh my god. Mogut yes, Ricky. Come 
<laughs> They're just amazing, just absolutely beautiful birds. We're going to have some food in one of the restaurants, but it was so amazing just to feed the ducks. The duck was so cute. They were so yes, yes, yes. Great idea, absolutely brilliant idea. Just you know, go and feed the ducks. It's amazing feeling. Absolutely beautiful place. And I really hope that food is going to be beautiful too. I didn't tell my daughter that I'm going to eat duck because we just feed ducks. She thinks we're going to eat chicken. Don't tell anyone. This is the idea that we're in a really cool place, but our kid wants sandwiches and french fries. It's a bit boring. But it's yummy. We just got a little complimentary from the chef, and it looks awesome. Just, just look at these guys. So cute. It's like no. I have actually the feeling that we're spaceship. Spaceship. Paul is saying we're. Looks like we're in the spaceship. All right, we got, um, now we're going to see Casper. He's my cousin. And we got full car of friends. And this is David, my cousin. Another my Second cousin. cousin. Second cousin, I have a lot of cousins. <laughs> and now we did uh, try to, uh, we did ask Ruslana to repeat some Latvian words. And uh, the best one was, again, pum Pumpermitelis. 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 Not so bad, not so bad, Lana. You're doing well. <laughs> we're gonna go get some pizza for my cousin because we know that he loves pizza, so we're gonna go in this place. Um, David, he did call there and they should get some pizza for us. So let's see. Okay, we're gonna see my brother and my cousin now. We brought him some pizza and he does not know about this. Labdien, te ir pizzas pasatījums! Sveiki! Pizzas pasatījums! Pagaist to uzlikšu. I'm going to film a video about us, alright? This is my cousin Kaspar. Kaspar, say hello. Hello! How are you doing, my friend? Tā, labi. Ok, guys, I'll be back with you. I just need to cuddle everyone. Pasakas and tīkas. Lielbritānija salta. Wow. It says Great Britain Island people stories and tales. Stories and tales, yes. You know better than me. Your English is much better than my English. It is cartooning study for 20 years. He's saying this is a 21 year, this picture is 21 years old. I remember this, it was a birthday present from one of the girls who used to study with you, right? Two girls. Two girls. This is absolutely beautiful house with absolutely beautiful stuff and they have uh, <laughs> underground storage. Yeah. I've been told it's about 100 years old. How do you say pogrip in English? Do you know? I forgot. Where? Da. Pogrip. Look, guys, it's 100 years old. Basement. Basement, probably, yeah. They keep some food in there, and they have a house wine, and some kind of stuff that they got 
from the flat and during the kind of traveling collections, the Caspers, my cousin Casper, um, mom, she got all these plates and she said it's a brilliant place because it's kind of underground and it's always about 15, 14 degrees Celsius. So when it's even outside, when it's summer and it's hot, uh, even when it's plus 35 outside, it's still plus 15 in there. And on the winter time, when it's minus, outside it's still about 14 15 there which is quite good for the storage for the food storage but the idea is it's about 100 years old and it's cool it's just awesome you know like to see this old thing as a part of your house i think it's brilliant it's beautiful <laughs> Ну ты просто когда скользит по полу, это так. Say something good, come on. Tell me for the video that we're gonna watch in 10 years and we can remember. Okay. I hope that someday we will we can't remember what we want to forget. That's really clever. I need to think about this. We can't remember that we need to forget. <laughs> That's really cool. It was absolutely amazing evening. Absolutely. I was so glad to see my uh, second grandma, second aunt, and my cousin, and my brother, <laughs> my friends. And it was absolutely brilliant. I have to go and say him goodbye. Unfortunately, I have to leave him and really hope that we're gonna see each other soon. <laughs> All right, guys, um, today another day, and it's gonna be interesting because I want me and Ruslan, Ruslan, say hello. Hi. Me and Ruslan, we're gonna go to my school where I used to study. And we're gonna go through all the yards, through all the way, how I used to do it in Latvia when I was a kid. And I want to see around, did anything change for the last 13 years? By the way, today, at this moment, I am filming, it's a 24th of October. 24th of October, 2009, I left Latvia and moved to England. So today, I'm celebrating 13 years when I move to England. And the first shot we're gonna start, I wanna show you the absolutely beautiful view from my window. It's autumn, it's very beautiful, and I just wanna do this view from my room, from my window, how it was. So what I do remember is a sound. Um, I read somewhere in uh, one book that each city has his own song, his own sound. And I can tell that this type of sound, I don't know, can you hear through the mic in the camera or not, but there are cars, motorbikes and a tram. And this kind of sound I do remember from the childhood. Sometimes in summer it's really, really hot. So I used to sleep with the open window and I used to listen the sound. And some people say they cannot sleep when the tram is passing and then it stops in there. There is a tram stop behind that big black flat house, black uh, <laughs> uh, flat block house. And the doors are opening, closing. So I remember the sound. And this sound did not change how it was 13 years ago it's still the same sound still same song that my city is singing for me every single day we decide to take a stairs and um, what i remember what i remember about this stairs it's really good acoustic in that uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, my friends and i we used to play guitars up there we were sitting like a lot of my friends used to live in the flats like this so when we met we met on the stairs like this we had a beer drinks yes beer drinks and we used to play guitar in those stairs and it was really nice acoustic so we can sing loud and it sounds just cool 
The houses were built back in 1970s, 1980s, and as you see, the condition of some of them is not the best. There are still a lot of things needs an improvement, but people live in there, and it's okay, you know, they call it as a home, and it's all fine, so it is as it is. But people still feel safe to leave all the push chairs, some stuff in there, in the heavy stuff, uh, because a lot of doors, they have uh, kind of codes that you can get inside the house only using the special key, special magnetic key. Before that, there was a code, kind of four digit code that you can just type in and door was opening. So you can get in even without the uh, key. But now they take it away because a lot of people who drink alcohol, homeless people, uh, people who use drugs, they used to go in this um, stairs and just feel a bit more warmer themselves. So we coming out of my house and this is a yard where I used to play. And uh, first of all, I'll show you some place where we used to sit. It's really beautiful. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna walk to school and I'm just gonna do some footages so you will see where I used to live, where I used to walk and play. Lana, be careful, it's a road. Lana, Lana, it's a road. Oh, she's put a kitten. Look, a little Didi kitten. Uh, one thing I want you to note is that it's not really um, like suitable for the people with the special needs. If you see even the basic wheelchair gonna stuck in there with these roads and everything. So, but uh, yeah, we used to just sit there, hang out on this bench with a guitar, sing a song, and it was quite fun, it was quite nice. And you know, like when all of your friends live in uh, like around you in the, one of the flats, it was quite nice time. Another thing I remember when I was a kid, I used to have a parachute. I did a parachute with a little soldier, and I used to throw him in, you know, I throw him in the air, and then he went down and throw him. And once I throw him somewhere in there. Of course, it's not now, but he was hanging. It was hanging in there for the years and years and years and years. I would be absolutely shocked if I would see him now somewhere there in the branches, but no, not anymore. Another thing I want to say, this road was broken as long as I remember myself. So probably they did kind of beat in there, but the condition of the road all the time was like this. I moved to Latvia in 1996, and since 1996, I was asking myself, what the hell is that? I didn't know, and I still don't know what the hell is that, but I mean, it's quite interesting because condition of the road didn't change. We're gonna go in there, Anna. <laughs> and uh, yeah, asphalt probably is 30 years old, things are 30 years old. Yeah, they do some kind of repairs of the basement, as you see, they try to probably make these houses a bit more stronger, but, oh, there are cat houses, look. Houses for the kittens. But I heard in Soviet Union, during the Soviet Union uh, time, this was a little kind of uh, fountains, ditches. So you can imagine the kind of proper you know, like from this, like a, from the picture, the Soviet Union yard. Kids are playing, there are some fountains with the water, a lot of benches around, uh, women with a push chair sitting, everyone is so happy, but that was on the poster and that was the idea to build it. But it's a 30 year, I mean, since 96 I came here, no one did any repairs on that, and that's how it is. Milk? milk? Oh no, please don't step on it. Yeah, I still can climb this, but I guess that kids want to play a bit more than just to climb, isn't it? Yeah, what was this? Uh, this was kind of big rocking chair. Oh. You see, so, but again, they cut it out, but look. <laughs>
Um, there used to be another big massive yard, massive yard, where we used to play football and other games. And then they built a shop in there, of course. Uh, really good that there was a tram, so wherever you need to go somewhere, you always can use a tram and go in different places. Uh, but this yard, as you see, they build a shop. We also used to play in there football. But in the shop? No, there was a big kind of yard, you know, square yard, so we used to play. And this is a little footpath I used to go to school. <laughs> Look, yeah, there are a road in there and in there, but everyone always walks in there. Lana, don't touch him, please. She supposed the kids, yeah, there are a lot of homeless kids. Uh, homeless kittens, not kids. Uh, originally in a project when they build these houses there should be two entrances in a house from the road and from the yard but by some reason all the yard entrances were blocked and this was an ideal spot for us for the kids to sit in there under the roof smoking cigarettes drinking beer play guitar and sing songs and of course let's go there of course the people who live on the first level we don't call it ground level we we call it first level. Of course, people who live in there in the first level, they didn't like it. So they used to put a lot of kind of oil and grease in those rails. So we do not spend our time, so we do not hang out in there. So that's what they did. They used to put a lot of grease and oil in there. There was another thing I used to go to the school. And once I was going to the school and I saw a little gang staying in there there was a bunch of boys who were a gang proper gang you know they used to take money from people and what rob them stealer. yes rob them and I understand that if I'll go walk this way they will rob me so I need to think something clever and you know what I did I saw the man who was walking in the flat path and I start shouting I start shouting like daddy daddy I'm here dad and the man stopped because he thought that someone is calling him and this gang actually thought that this man is my father and they didn't touch me so that's how it was <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay Ruslan gonna be my operator my cameraman all right I was the most happiest kid you know why cool. because you see this building this brown building it's a real beer factory and this is my school so a lot of kids <laughs> of course the high like um, the um, late year kids we used to go from the school to the beer factory to buy some beer so this was really funny but now it's a varpa it's called a varpa it's a beer factory but now it's closed and it's really sad this is another object of the school that is actually closed yeah so this is a school this is a beer factory Are you listening? <laughs> yes, we are. All right, this is my school. This is my schoolyard, and yeah, that's how it looks like. I feel after school the whole entire school to the. Oh my god! Careful, yeah. Oh, also the stairs don't work. Cool. It's kind of so when you like. Kind of leaning forward. Oh, look at the line of that ball, bro. Wow, they built a fence. Really good fan. Wow. They really did nice with the stadium. I Is really that, didn't see it before. That, that, there was an um, old uh, playground, you know, kind of uh, very old. But now they build all this and wow. Sorry? Did you ever go to football clubs or clubs? No, I didn't. Oh, that means you could have saw you. It's something new to me. This is looks like a proper European Union school now. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. But before that, it was terrible. Wow! Look at all these investments. But how this is really cool. No, this is really cool because it wasn't like this before. Like there was just the grass, something like this piece of grass, and kind of old um, gold. You know this as we used to see but now look at this all the roads everything everything much much better now absolutely stunning you know what i'm really proud for my school now i'm really happy for my school because of this one i can't imagine how many 
I don't know, this uh, probably the volleyball and basketball, they are closed. What are the rules, how they open them? So, for example, are the kids from the near houses allowed to just come here and play? Or it's only for school, during the school time, they open the lock, open the gate and they just play, I don't know, but we will see. Wait, oh, yes, one? yes, yes. Yeah. So there was a bit the same, but it was old. It was from Soviet Union time, kind of the same still piece of rubbish we saw. We and now, look, it's a new one. It's absolutely new one. Lana, you can try it. Look, yeah, they did all these things. All the new one. It's really cool. Please be careful, darling. But the ground is soft, you know, as it should be. Uh, you can see that it's following all the standards of the European safety. So there's no sharp corners, no pieces of metal. Everything is nice and steady, yeah. polished. It's, uh, it's, I think, you lie down in there and do your abs. Oh. But whatever. You can try it. Okay. <laughs> you want to try it? Yeah. And now... And now raise your legs, now raise your legs. Yeah, one. And more. Two. Oh, yeah, know. okay. <laughs> All right, let's go back. And this is a big sport hall of my school. And a lot of disco parties, when they did the school disco party, they used to do in that sport hall. And there was an exit out. So some of the school students were smoking, wherever. So they came here to smoke. But also, we used to come out, run all the way through there, 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 get some beer. While we're walking back, we drink the beer, and then we went back to the disco party. Sorry for telling this to you, but that's how it was. It was fun. Did I was smoke? a, I was a teen. No, I didn't. Okay. I was a teenager, so I am allowed to do that. Смотри. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Здесь мы кушали. Ah. Here we were eating, but now it's closed. You can't buy anything, I guess. Yeah, it's closed. Well, you can't buy. It was, no, there was a buffet. You see, there are a lot wait, of. Wait, you had it to buy. It's closed. It's just closed. You had it to buy. <sighs> yes, of course. Yeah, we have to buy it. Yeah, no one did us uh, support us with the free. Then. I don't know. It's kind of basketball team. And this is uh, old the uh, trophies and awards that our school got. It's kind of a lot. Our school was good. I think it's still good. You see how many trophies and rewards we got? So, yeah, we saw my teacher, my English. She speaks English. She speaks English, yeah. She's an English teacher, so she should know English. Okay, and I want to see another teacher. Who was in that? All right, so it was a really nice trip to my school. I did not film a lot, but I did meet some of my teachers inside and it was so nice to see them. Um, I did try to visit them sometimes when I'm coming back, but technically it was about five, six years when I last time saw some of them. And some of them I saw more than 10 years ago, so it was really nice. Yeah, nice trip, Rosanna did enjoy it, did you? Yeah. Let me film you, so tell me, what do you think about the school? I think it's cool, but I don't understand the writing oh yeah writing in latvian language so that's why you didn't <laughs> yeah yeah it was a good trip isn't it all right this is another beautiful evening in riga in latvia it's a bit raining i'm gonna go to the city center to meet my old friend friend of mine his name is sergey and um, we usually call to each other you know for the last couple of years we did stay in touch but I didn't see him for the long, long time. So he can tell me all the gossips because as I said, we used to study together. Uh, I will go through the old town. It's gonna be quite a short walk. So I will try to do some nice footages, but you know, in the weather like that, like this is kind of impossible to do a really nice filming. It's raining, it's foggy, it's evening. Another place is uh, uh, Mikhaila Chakhova. Theater, theater of the name of the Mikhail Chakov. I used to walk in the theater. Yeah, it was just an extra rolls, not a lot, a couple of phrases, but still, it's a real theater. It's a Russian theater in old town, and I used to walk in there. Yeah, I remember this. It's just really nice to walk in an old city. And the only one thing I want to say is, I do remember the crowds on the streets. 
a lot of people doesn't matter is a working weekend is a, just a weekend I don't know it doesn't matter always there was a people 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 but at this moment there's not a lot of people I don't know what's going on a lot of empty buildings a lot of empty restaurants and cafes not really a lot of people which is I mean there are some people still but it's not so crowded as I used to remember the city was but still beautiful very beautiful nice tidy clean a lot of restaurants, cafes, cool, just cool, this kind of memory remains, you know, beautiful. As I remember, you are not allowed to walk with the alcohol in the old town, so that's probably what's going on now behind me, that's why police stopped, they saw the kind of uh, bunch of people who were walking around with a beer, as I remember, so that's probably what's happened do not walk in old town with alcohol in your hand it is illegal still illegal i've been caught many many times when i was a young chap i've been caught i remember this right this is sergey as i told you my friend we used to study together in theater academy and that was my point to walk through all the city in that place just to meet him so we didn't see each other for three years three four years three Three years. three years we didn't see each other for three, three years. years and now he shows me a nice place where we're gonna have some food some drinks I'm not gonna do a lot of filming now guys good food good food good food I'm not gonna do a lot of filming because I want to enjoy the company guys okay so see you later to change a pub there are a lot of restaurants a lot of pubs in Riga and we decided to change and Sergey shows oh look they look like they sell beer and they not only sell beer they also have a chess the funny thing is um, so look at us and now look at this picture and guess who is who <laughs> I'm not smoking I give you a clue Alright guys, it was absolutely amazing day because uh, I met Sergey. The, as I said, we used to study together in theater academy. A lot of things changed since we seen each other last time, and now he is not in the theater anymore. But it's even more interesting because I found out a lot of interesting stories about what's happened for the last couple of years that I haven't been visiting Riga and now Sergey he is driving if you can see it's a bit dark but he's driving he's giving me a lift to the last point where I'm gonna meet my wife and it just was amazing guys absolutely amazing day uh, I mean amazing evening so yeah end of the day was more than perfect hello guys we near the freedom monument and now we're in real time in really good time because we can see how the um, soldiers are swapping it's really cool very beautiful monument and just guys are staying so still with so no moves which is absolutely amazing <laughs> reminds London's Queen Guards same but the only one difference is there is now hundreds of tourists who try to tease them make them smile make them laugh or do a lot of pictures of them I don't think it's allowed because as soon as you're gonna try to do something what you do with the London guards, London Queen guards, uh, with these guys, 
you will be technically arrested by police straight away so even do not try i will tell just a little bit about this place it's called uh, basti hill and uh, because there is a hill and when we were young we used to meet in there with the guys with the different cultures subcultures you know uh, hip-hop heavy metal rockers uh, hippies and we used to have fun in there sometimes there was a bit of arguments even fightings between different subcultures and i remember there was a massive fighting on the top between the guys who represent hip-hop culture and guys who represent heavy metal or rock culture and yeah there was a massive fighting about 30 or 40 policemen were involved to get rid of them of all of them but a lot of injuries but the place is very beautiful so don't take the story as a main idea what's going on there now it's not so bad now it's much much better but um, this place reminds me kind of hangout place where we used to sit again guitars, music, beer, uh, clubbing, things like that. And another thing is uh, Lima. Lima is a chocolate factory that used to belong to Latvia, but now it does not belong to Latvia. It belongs to, I think, German company or Swedish company, I don't know. But near this clock, Lima, the young people used to meet, used to date. So that was a place, another place where people used to meet when they want to go somewhere. So, for example, I can call to any of my friends and say, let's meet near the lime o'clock. And everyone knows this is the proper meeting point. Another good point of this place was that there's a McDonald's in front. And as everyone you know, McDonald's is not only the restaurant, it's also a free toilet chain all around the world. So that was quite handy. All right, we can't get actually in that arc, but that arc is quite interesting and important because there was a pub and it's called an architect and uh, this was type of pub where I used to hang out all my teenage time because it goes under the ground and we used to drink a lot of beers of them and the idea of that pub was that they never check for our ID they just sell us a beer and it was so cool because now it's not there anymore but uh, they just sell us a beer and we can drink as much as we want of course for money not for free but everyone knew architect and now when we became a bit elder we try to find out how the hell it was not closed because everyone knew that you go in there and you can see boys and girls who are 15 16 years ish and they're just sitting smoking inside and drinking beer but it was a lot of hangout and a lot of fun time because it was a disco music we used to dance and have fun and drink a beer and also we used to fight a lot in that street if you have any arguments or any conflicts with anyone you just go outside step a bit out of the architect and just mess the parties were there very quick because it was about three, four, five minutes before the police gonna come <laughs> and separate us. Some of us take to the police station. So yeah, this is a really nice point of memories, guys. I know it sounds a bit dodgy, sounds a bit strange, but it was our childhood, so that's how it was, which is quite cool. All right, Dash and I, we're back in Old Riga, in Old Town, and we just had the ride to this beautiful scooters, guys. Amazing feeling, did you like it? It's so cool, it's so good. It's just absolutely, I mean, we drive from, from really far away, really, really far away. Mm -hmm. About how many? 20 minutes, maybe? Yeah? yeah. 20 minutes of riding, and we paid about 3.5 euro each. Uh, it's amazing, just <laughs> cool. We can do it more. I Sorry, guys, I didn't press record when Dasha said how awesome were scooters. But scooters were absolutely amazing. My first ever ride in my life, because I actually haven't used scooters before. So electric scooters before but it was so easy and so great I've taken the beginnings mode off straight away almost so I was driving 25 kilometers an hour and yeah the roads are smooth the promenade is really beautiful by the river so yeah just great experience if you come to Riga take the scooter and and just drive away and we decided to finish our day this is our last day in Riga in Latvia tomorrow we're gonna fly back to Bristol and we decided to finish, of course, with the leader, just simply because it's close to our flat. <laughs> so we're gonna have a beer and maybe some meal, but we're full anyway. Maybe then cinema, but it's gonna be probably end of the filming for today. We're really tired, we saw a lot of people, and now we just wanna relax. So thanks for watching. 
and I'll see you tomorrow in airport with my last words um, kind of summarizing of everything what I went through during this week see you tomorrow guys all right ladies and gentlemen uh, this is my last video this is my last video record for now um, yeah because we're flying back to Bristol we're flying back to United Kingdom Bristol and uh, I just want to tell thanks to everyone who find the time to see me thanks to every one of my friends who find the time to actually spend a bit of time with me tell me all these beautiful stories of course you understand that a lot of things um, they are not recorded I did some video snapshots but it's I would say 25% of uh, the things and ideas I wanted to show emotions are different uh, cities growing, countries growing, countries coming closer and closer to the European level. A lot of change, uh, big change that I didn't notice before. So hopefully see this beautiful country again and uh, see you soon guys. Thanks everyone for watching this and uh, yeah, just let me know what you think about this type of format, this type of blogging when I just take my phone with me, film uh, some snapshots and just leave my feedbacks my comments about places where I'm going if you like it let me know okay and I'll see you guys thank you bye